Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be trying out some kitchen hacks and gadgets to see if they actually work. Mama got you peeling all the potatoes. Well, you know what? There's an easier way to do this. Put them in a bucket of water. Surgically attach. Add toilet brush to a drill. What? It's gonna peel every single potato. Just like that. Sound a little too good to be true. We should probably do this outside. Okay, I got my toilet brush cleaner and there's no way to like attach this. So I'm going to have to cut it. Ugh. Bro, this is harder than peeling potatoes. How do I do this? Can I break it? Ugh. We're gonna do this the good old fashioned way with duct tape. Mm, don't think that's gonna work. Life hack, don't buy a super deluxe toilet cleaner from Target. Sick attachment. Wait, it's not spinning. Please spin. Guys, I just leveled up my drill. Why isn't this working? Okay, potatoes, bath time. We're gonna do this another way. Guys, I think it's working. So I don't understand because you cannot attach a drill to a toilet cleaner. I went to the dollar store and all of them have this similar handle and I could not attach it so it'll like actually drill. All the time that I spent on this, I could have just peeled the dang potatoes. You know what we're gonna have to do? Take these potatoes and actually peel them. There are no shortcuts in life. Y'all ever wonder how they shred meat so fast and easy? So I got these bear paws off Amazon and we're gonna put them to the test. The ultimate Wolverine. Rotisserie Shredder 3000. Here we have some meat. And you just take the claws and go. Where has this been all my life? I used to shred a rotisserie by hand when I could have just been doing this. Okay, I don't even know where to start. I got my bear paws. We're gonna mm, tear this chicken apart. Ugh. And my fingernails won't smell like chicken afterwards. I feel like this container is not practical for it. this meat. Ew. Yeah. Ew, it's bloody. Okay, so there's a technique for this. You basically just like shred, shred, shred. Okay, let me put it on a plate. Would you like some rotisserie? Ash is not for you. This is really, really good at shredding. Oh, mommy gives in every time. Mommy gives in. Okay, well, the fact that I shredded most of this rotisserie in like a minute is great. Some of them you really have to like get in there. But hey, that's pretty good. I'm disappointed because I thought I was gonna be like going mm, ham on this. But you have to do it like you're expecting the already dead chicken. Wham bam, shredded rotisserie, ma'am. Delicious. I make some enchiladas with this. Lunch break. I got some sushi from the gas station, the best kind. Let me just light up my chopsticks. <laughs> now you can eat with the force of hunger. Mm. You see, Evan's very hungry. And if you want sushi, you'll have to fight me for it. <laughs> oh, I win. That means no sushi for you. Oh, oh he's back. <laughs> I win. Ah. No, I get the sushi now. Okay. Call me the sausage. This is a little dirty. It's called the corn stripper. You know, those kernels gotta support their family somehow. You're just supposed to slide it down the shaft of the corn. All the kernels just, wow. Great for soups and salads, nice. Okay, but does it work though? We're gonna strip our corn. First, we gotta make it come out of its shell. Bro, how many layers you got? Come on out. Spice up your home gatherings with a corn stripper. We're just gonna put it over this and just push down, I guess. Wait, shouldn't it be in something to collect the kernels? It's gonna take some upper arm strength, which I clearly don't have. Oh, it's stripping all right. <laughs> This is really hard. They make it look so easy and now we have a jam. This is hard <laughs> Maybe if I pull it from it. That actually worked. Look at it. I feel like it's kind of a waste because it didn't get it real good But look ma Carn. I done did it with my corn stripper. Just like the chipotle does it. You're next I was wondering I was like what if it, the corn is too big or the corn is too small like is this a one-size-fits-all? Ah. Okay, what about all the hairs? We got all the hairs in here. Gross. I feel like I'm milking the corn. Delicious! Fresh corn kernels! 
Now you have to like take out the hairs individually. And you got this huge mess that you don't see on cam. But I did get this neat corn hat out of it. I dub me Queen Corn. I dub you Queen Corn. Is that why they call it a unicorn? <laughs> Give it to me. Give it back to me. Barbara got the Melon Slicer 5000. The ultimate melon cutter. So you cut the ends off the melon. And then you're supposed to just slide it down. And you have a perfectly cut melon. Oh, but you see it's a little struggle. You know, put it on the porch. Use your whole entire body strength. Oh, and it just opens up like a flower. Delicious. <laughs> Barbara just couldn't wait. Mm, mm. <laughs> Careful. I got my big juicy melon right here. It's Thick. So what we're gonna have to do, slice its scalp so it goes down. Oh wait, and the other side too. So it sits. Now we're going to position our watermelon. Ooh, gotta be a good time right here. If I can even like, ah! I need it to be on the ground so I can just use the weight of my whole body and just, ah! Now I know how Barbara struggled. Oh my God, this is so hard. <laughs> Oh, that's my piece. I call this piece the cylindrical melon. Oh, it's beautiful. It worked so well This is the best part of look at that. Look at that boneless melon cylinder. This is the best part of the melon Mmm, oh so good. This one bite was worth this mmm Juicy and then this piece look at this look at this boneless piece of melon so good so this is supposed to work on any kind of melon oh so I got another Malone and we're gonna try this hack again you see the middle of these are all seeds so I don't know if it's gonna come out as nice as the watermelon did but we're gonna try it I'm gonna need some boy assistance for this look at all this melon <gasps> and you have a melon flower and then you just like, okay, there's gotta be like a, a better way to do this. Cause it cuts it really nicely, but then you just have to take the seeds off. No melon was wasted in the making of this video. What's that? What's this you ask? It's an ice tray of the United States. Let the freeze them ring. <laughs> so funny. So now you can have ice of your favorite state. Alabama, I can't wait to eat you. I guess we're just gonna make Powerade flavored ice with this. Red and blue. What color should Arizona way be? I'm gonna go ham, okay? Powerade this bit. No, you're not supposed to go there. Now it's just mixing. We got purple ice. I want Maine to be blue. I want Florida to be blue. Now pop it in the freezer for two hours. I'm gonna make a drink with all of these in it. I want them all to be separated. I don't want I'm gonna get stuck together. This ain't the Louisiana purchase. Careful! One hour later. You see, I froze the entire United States into ice cubes. Now, starting with California way. Wait, how do we get these out? Is there a way to do this without them break? Oh no, Texas is already falling apart. We lost Texas! All right, this has been chilling for like two hours. Does Powerade just not freeze? Oh, that was nice. Whatever state that is. Mmm, this is good. Who knew frozen Powerade was so delicious? Okay, California, rest in peace. Bro, these don't come out of here. Well, I gotta like oil this thing up first. Maybe we gotta like wait for them to like really freeze like overnight, but they don't like come out. Thought I was gonna drink the states. They're pretty delicious though. Our country is in shambles. Send help. Mmm, nothing like patriotic Powerade. So we still got those potatoes that we just peeled. We're gonna put them on some foil, olive oil, add some herbs with an iron. Bro, you could have just popped it in the oven. How long do I gotta press an iron over these potatoes until they're done? If this works, this is something that you could do in a hotel room. All you need is a potato, some herbs, and oil. You know, for the low price of one dollar, we can get some hash browns at McDonald's. But no, that would be too easy. Okay, now imagine you're in a hotel room. Make sure you have your aluminum foil, your oil spray, a cut up potato. Cut this up real quick, you know, I want a midnight snack, but I ain't trying to leave this room. I think I have my potato and all my supplies needed. Oh, and don't forget the Italian seasoning. I never travel without it. Hokey dokey. 
Whoa. Now we're gonna close it in and we're gonna use the steamer slash iron. Ooh, she's smoky. Oh, it's like a facial too. You know, I'm actually terrified of these things because when I was like 10 or 11, my mom was teaching me how to iron and then I burned myself really bad and I still have a nasty scar on my wrist from it. And it was just really bad. So I try to avoid these at all costs. And also all my clothes are very wrinkled. <laughs> I wonder how long this has got to cook for. It seems like it's, it's doing pretty good. I mean, there's steam coming out. It's smoky. It's pretty hot. Can't wait for my potatoes to be done. Y'all smell that smoke? Delicious. A few moments later. All right, it's been like a minute. I want to check on the progress. Bro, they still raw. How long do we got to cook this for? We can just leave it like that. I don't know why I was like firmly grasping it. What does this button do? Okay, okay I guess we just leave it to cook. left this to cook long enough. It's been a good 10 minutes. They make it seem like wham bam. Hotel snack ma'am. But no. This better be done now. These potatoes don't even look cooked. That's not cooked at all. This is not working. Maybe because this is a steam one? This didn't work. This would have been like if I microwaved them for 30 seconds. This sucks. We have this little contraption. I got this off Amazon. And it's a little ceramic pot of a dude with an abnormally large snout. I can look up his nose and see his brain, except there's nothing there. So he's pretty dumb. This is supposed to separate the egg from the yolk. So I'm going to take this, crack the egg inside him. And if you're like me and suck at separating the egg from the yolk, you're just basically supposed to like, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. He got a big fat not <laughs> this egg white thick oh no no that's not supposed to happen it was supposed to separate it and ended up just mixing it so you're just supposed to like pour it and it's supposed to come out he messy this is supposed to work we're sacrificing another egg for the cause hopefully this egg white isn't as thick as the other Shoo. okay it's separating it's separating look it's all egg white all right has it been separated oh no there's plenty of egg white still left in there. Oh, this is so nasty. I don't like it. Oh, there's a lot of egg white left. Oh, she's snotty. I think we just got a nice thick egg yolk in here. So you just gotta be careful and not do it too much or otherwise the egg yolk will come out. Oh wait, no, it doesn't come out. I'm pouring it. I think that just last egg was just messed up. Oh no, there it goes. I'm gonna gag, gross. You see, nothing has made me shed more tears in this world than the dang onions. So I got me the Onion Chopper Pro. No more tears, ma'am. You put that onion in and then you just smoosh it. Ooh! And the remains go to onion prison <laughs> where they belong. Oh, you can also do it with a potato. It's a little bit of a struggle. Come on, if this dude can barely do it, how you expect me to? He got it through. Let's go see what we can chop. So what sucks is that I still have to cut the onion, but we're gonna try this first with an apple. You still have to cut it. You just like, you put it through the thing and it's like, that was so easy. <gasps> and perfectly sliced apple pieces. Oh, I like this. Easy pie right here. Nice. <gasps> Snacks. Only because I'm curious, I want to put a lemon through here and see how it fares. Will it be lemonade? Will it be lemon slices? Let's find out. Lemon. Oh, the lemon went through. <gasps> it made lemon cubes. Y'all need to see this to believe it. Oh my God, you can dice anything so easily. Y'all ever seen a diced lemon before? Now you have. Now you make lemon water. Delicious. Bro, I wanna like dice everything in my fridge right now. This thing is so satisfying. Now the ultimate test. You see, it takes me approximately two minutes to dice a big fat onion. Not including the crying break. We're gonna take it out of its shell. I gotta work fast before I start tearing up, okay? Peel this bad boy, cut it in half. I don't even think it's gonna fit. No, it doesn't fit. That's what she said. Smush it. Ugh, go to onion jail. Mm. Wow, trying to get rid of it before it makes me cry. Ooh. See you all in onion hell. Oh, my eyes. <laughs> you can't hurt me anymore. Actually, you can. Oh, God. It stings. Baby, look at all that onion. Now I never have to buy diced onion again. You know, my parents found out that I bought diced onion, and they still roast me for it. So now I never have to buy diced onion again. Her dad apologized to me. <laughs> he was like, I'm sorry she has to buy diced onion. We obviously didn't raise her well. <laughs> 
guys enjoyed this video, comment below. Let me know which one of these you would actually use. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications so you know when I upload. Click, click, and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.